Welcome friends, please remember on this channel I usually post the more advanced math videos. Today we're going to do a reduction formula for integrals of the form x to the n and then e raised to the x dx. And then we'll use it to evaluate one of these. So first of all, what we can do is apply integration by parts. You can set u equal to x to the n. And then when you differentiate here, it's du is equal to nx raised to the n minus 1 dx. And then likewise, we can say that, for example, dv is just equal to e to the x dx, which means anti-differentiating both sides. In other words, doing this, and then likewise doing this right here. Anti-differentiating both sides, we get that v is equal to e to the x. So now, according to this, the first stage of the formula process is basically you now do u times v. So in our case, it would be x to the n times e to the x. In other words, Whatever is where it says x to the n as a factor in the integrand, now it comes over here as x to the n times e to the x. And then you subtract from it the integral of v du. So v is e to the x. And then du happens to be n x to the n minus 1 dx. So the n is like a constant, so you can pull it outside. And then write the x to the n minus 1 first by convention, and then dx. And then using this process, we can evaluate this kind of antiderivative question essentially find the answer to it so let's use it once in practice i'll write that over here on the side so imagine we're going to find the antiderivative of x cubed and then e to the x dx so what the formula states when you apply it is that at the first first you get there x cubed and then e to the x and then you subtract from it n so n in our case is three at first multiplied by the antiderivative of x to the 3 minus 1, which is 2. So it's x squared, e to the x, dx. Now we continue down below here. All right, let me just move this over because we will need more space. So, continue. The formula then states you're going to copy the e, uh, x cubed, rather, e to the x minus the 3, and then you just apply that reduction formula to that x squared, e to the x integral. That integral says you're going to have now again x squared, e to the x, minus the integral with 2 on the outside, because that's now our value of n, 2, not 3 anymore. And then it's going to be x to the 2 minus 1, which is 1, this way, basically. So it's like x to the first, which we just write, of course, as x. So then it's x times e to the x dx. And then we continue. So it's going to be x cubed e to the x minus 3 brackets for now, x squared e to the x minus 2, and then brackets, and then you apply, again, that same process to the integral of x e to the x. Well, in that case, you just write x e raised to the x minus the antiderivative of x to the 1 minus 1, which is x to the 0, which is 1. In other words, it just leaves us with e to the x, you see? The x this way. And the beautiful part now, this is just uh, x cubed e to the x minus 3, for now brackets, x squared e to the e to the x there minus two brackets x e raised to the x and antiderivative x e to the x of course is just e to the x right it's really easy and that's it it's been found essentially now we just have to bring this into a more user-friendly form i suppose so when we do that here we're going to get the following x cubed e to the x minus three now we have to start distributing you have to be careful with the distribution of the numbers here so it's going to be x squared e to the x, and then let's distribute the negative too. So it's going to be minus 2 x e raised to the x, and then plus 2 e raised to the x plus the c. Now, so I'm distributing from the inside to the outside, so we don't make mistakes. And then x cubed e to the x minus, well, let's see. Let's distribute the negative 3, so it's going to be 3 x squared e to the x plus 6xe raised to the x, and then minus 6e raised to the x plus the c. Let's see whether we can clean this up. What we observe is that in each term, we have e to the x, e to the x, e to the x, and e to the x. Of course, we will factor that out. And then the remaining terms are just x cubed, minus 3x squared, plus 6x, minus 6, plus a constant c. And here's all of our work from top to bottom. Let me maybe zoom out a little bit more or move this over in some fashion. I want to be able to show you all of it. That pretty much encompasses all the work. Otherwise, you would have to do x cubed e to the x 
by using integration by parts, but pretty much this reduction formula does it for you. It's beautiful, right? If you like math videos at this more abstract level, perhaps, or more advanced level, please be sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you in another video.